Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you Crypto Hopper Trading Bot Tutorial and full setup. Let's get started. First, click the link in the description to sign up for Crypto Hopper for free. This will take you to the sign up page where you'll see a button that says Start Free Trial. Click on it to begin. After clicking, you'll be directed to the account creation page. Here, you'll need to enter your username, email, and password to create your account. Alternatively, you can speed things up by signing up with your Google, Facebook, or Apple account. Once you've filled in your details, click Sign Up. After signing up, you'll land on a page that says Start Onboarding. This setup process includes several steps. Entering personal information, selecting and connecting an exchange, choosing a bot, configuring the bot settings, and starting your trading journey. You can either complete these steps now or skip them, but I recommend following along for the complete setup. The first step is entering your personal information. You'll need to fill in your full name, select your country of residence, and choose your country of origin. After entering these details, click Continue. Next, you'll be asked to choose a cryptocurrency exchange to connect with CryptoHopper. There are many exchanges to choose from such as Binance, Coinbase Pro, KCoin, Kraken, OKX, and more. For this tutorial, I'll select Binance. After choosing your exchange, the next step is to connect it to CryptoHopper. This is done by creating an API key on your exchange account, allowing CryptoHopper to place trades on your behalf. The platform provides step-by-step -step instructions for each exchange, so it's easy to follow. You'll need to enter an API key, API secret, and optionally, an API passcode. Once you've done this, click Connect. Your exchange is now linked, and CryptoHopper can start executing trades based on your bot settings. If you're not ready to connect an exchange yet, you can switch to paper trading instead. Paper trading is a risk-free way to test CryptoHopper's features using virtual funds so you can experiment without using real money. To enable paper trading, click on Switch to Paper Trading. A confirmation box will appear asking if you want to proceed. Click Yes. Now you need to select a base currency, which is the currency your bot will use to trade. You can choose from multiple options like Bitcoin, BTC, Ethereum, ETH, USDT, Tether, and more. For this tutorial, I'll select USDT and click Continue. Next, CryptoHopper will ask you to select a bot type. There are different types of bots designed for different trading strategies, so explore the options and choose one that fits your style. After that, you'll be asked to choose a subscription plan. CryptoHopper offers several paid plans with advanced features, but if you just want to test the platform, you can skip the subscription and trade manually. To do this, click on Skip Subscription. Once that's done, you'll be taken to the CryptoHopper dashboard. This is your control center for automated trading, where you manage everything from strategies to monitoring trades. The first step in getting your bot running smoothly is proper configuration. And that's where the configuration panel comes in. This panel consists of four key sections. Base config, config pools, signals, and triggers. Since base config is the foundation of your strategy, we'll focus on that. Clicking on base config opens a submen with several sections that you can navigate freely. Just be sure to save your changes before exiting to ensure they apply. Enabling the advanced slider unlocks additional customization options for a more refined strategy. You can also save your settings as a template, which is handy for experimenting while keeping a backup. For this walkthrough, we'll use paper trader mode, which simulates trades with no real money. The first step in base config is naming your hopper to help manage multiple setups. We'll name this one test hopper. Next, you select your exchange. Since we're in paper trading mode, it's set accordingly, meaning no real funds are used. You also have the option to receive email notifications about trades and errors, useful for tracking performance, though they can get overwhelming. Managing funds is a critical part of setup. 
The quote currency represents the asset in which your funds are stored. For example, if you have 0.5 BTC, your quote currency is Bitcoin. If you have 5, 0 in USDT, then it's USDT. Click Change after selecting it. The next step is choosing which cryptocurrencies your bot is allowed to trade. Instead of selecting every coin, focus on high market cap and liquid assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Binance Coin. You also need to allocate how much of your total funds can be used for trading. If you have 1 BTC but only want to use 0.5 BTC, enter 0.5 in the allocation field. It's also important to set a maximum number of open trades. A good starting point is 5 to 10. If you're allocating 0.5 BTC and allow 10 trades, each should use about 0.05 BTC. You can also set a minimum trade amount to avoid excessively small trades. Buy settings help you control how the bot purchases assets. You can set a custom bid price, but we'll leave it blank for now to let the strategy decide. The maximum open time to buy setting prevents buy orders from lingering. A default of 10 minutes works well. To avoid overexposure to a single asset, limit open positions per coin. For example, if trading 5 coins with 10 trades total, a 20% limit allows 2 trades per coin. You can also choose whether to allow multiple orders per coin. For simplicity, we'll allow only one. Enabling positive pairs only ensures the bot buys only in positive momentum markets. To reduce excessive trading, add a cooldown between trades. 10 minutes is reasonable. Having a strong strategy is essential. You can create your own, use a third-party one, or subscribe to external signals. Trailing Stop Buy is an advanced buy setting that lets the bot track downward movement before buying, helping optimize entry points. When enabled, the bot waits for the price to drop a specific percentage, then rise by that same percentage before buying. For instance, if it's set to 2%, the bot follows the price down and only buys once it recovers 2% from its lowest point. Selling settings dictate how the bot exits trades. You can define a take profit percentage, select the order type, and set a max open time. We'll configure take profit at 2.5%, so the bot sells once it gains that much. The order type can be market or limit, and max open time ensures trades don't stay open too long. The sell strategy includes toggles like sell based on strategy, only sell in profit, and hold assets. When new target is the same, helping avoid unnecessary trades. To limit losses, enable stop loss. For example, set it at 10% so the bot sells if the price falls 10% below purchase. A stop-loss timeout can delay execution to avoid reacting to short dips. A more dynamic method is trailing stop-loss, which locks in gains as prices rise. Set the trailing percentage to 1% and arm it at 2%. This means the trailing function activates after a 2% gain and sells if the price drops by 1% from the peak. You can also set a timeout. Choose to use trailing stop loss only. Disable take profit. Reset after failed orders. And restrict sales to profit only. The auto close feature automatically exits trades after a set time, which can clear stagnant positions but might lock in losses. If you're using short positions, shorting settings let you fine tune how shorts are handled. Another feature is dollar cost averaging DCA where the bot increases its holdings of a losing asset to lower the average price and improve chances of recovery. Once everything is configured, click Save to finalize your setup. The bot is now ready to simulate trades. Now let's explore the CryptoHopper Marketplace, which provides tools and resources to enhance your experience. Users can browse templates, strategies, and signals. Templates are ready-made configurations that let you get started quickly. Strategies define how the bot analyzes market trends and executes trades, whether pre-built or custom. Signals come from external providers to help guide buy or sell decisions. Copybots let you replicate successful trader strategies, while portfolio bots help diversify investments across assets.
The app section contains integrations and tools to further enhance trading. Gift cards allow users to purchase or redeem services. The deals section highlights promotions, discounts, and limited time offers. The marketplace is useful for beginners and pros alike, providing easy access to tools that can boost performance. CryptoHopper provides a powerful user-friendly platform for automated crypto trading, helping traders execute strategies without constant oversight. A solid setup includes reasonable take profit, stop loss, and trailing options, plus external signals for precision. DCA can assist in risk management and reviewing strategies over time can enhance performance. Together, these features help traders control risk and maximize profits, making CryptoHopper valuable for all experience levels. CryptoHopper offers various pricing plans. The free Pioneer plan includes unlimited copybots, portfolio management, and manual trading with up to 20 open positions. The Explorer plan, billed at $24.60 per month annually, adds features like market scanning, backtesting, and a strategy designer supporting up to 80 open positions. The Adventurer plan costs our $57.50 per month and increases open positions to 200 with reduced strategy intervals and more scanning power. The Hero plan a time $117.50. 50 cents per month includes advanced features like AI strategies, arbitrage, and extra indicators, supporting 500 open positions and 65 portfolio bots. Whether you're new or advanced, CryptoHopper has flexible options to fit your trading goals. That's it for this complete CryptoHopper tutorial. Don't forget to use the link in the description to create your free account and start automated trading today. Thanks for watching.